Dread Fun original production. Please sit back and enjoy. Hey guys, Dread Fun here again. It's uh, part two of my gorilla inspired Bigfoot in pencil time lapse. Uh, a few weeks back, I uploaded uh, a pencil sketch drawing where I took uh, a gorilla and took the morphology of a Bigfoot and combined it to make, uh, you know, what I thought Bigfoot would look like if you uh, combined uh, the outer shell, if you will, of a gorilla. This is part two. Uh, what I've done here is same concept, uh, same creature, same everything, except it's just a headshot. I really wanted to focus in on the face and give you guys a really good look at uh, what it was I was trying to accomplish here. Really focused on, uh, you know, giving them a large sagittal crest. A lot of eyewitness reports say that, you know, they, they see that. Some say they see the rounded head. So, you know, I, I went with a kind of, not really a combo, but I really built up that area. Gave him a massively large brow ridge. Uh, the original ape eyes that I, I was using, I didn't really like the way they looked, so I altered them slightly, and I think, you know, I came across with a more, uh, I don't know, a human-y sort of look. Uh, I personally think it looks a little bit like Michael Clark Duncan from that Planet of the Apes, but uh, whatever, maybe that's what Bigfoot looks like. I don't know. I haven't seen him. I personally don't go into the woods because uh, I don't want to... I don't want to, you know, get lost or eaten by a wild animal. I'm a city boy. Uh, with the nose, again, you know, I didn't go with uh, the recessed sort of uh, snout of, a, of a, a gorilla. I gave it more of a human nose with very large, wide nostrils. With the mouth, again, a lot of reports say that the mouth is, is crazy wide. Like past, uh, you know, past the eye level, uh, way past the eye level, as you can see with our mouths, much smaller. Really gave him a nice large, you know, back, neck, uh, shoulder. All Bigfoot sightings, especially of the males that are reported, are, are massive, massive individuals. Large chest, sometimes three, four, even five feet wide. Uh, with the fur and the, the shading technique I'm using, uh, you've seen in a lot of my videos, I'm simply laying it down in lighter, uh, well, from light levels to progressively darker. Sometimes I'll actually darken and reverse it, I, you know. Uh, whatever I feel like and then I sort of focus in on adding uh, little individual hairs and whatnot again this was part two of my gorilla inspired Bigfoot uh, if you've been paying attention to the news uh, especially you know uh, Melba Ketchum stuff there's been a lot of interesting stuff going on anyways uh, I really hope you guys like this this was just an attempt to uh, show you guys what I thought Bigfoot would look like if he were a gorilla or had the outer look of a gorilla anyways don't forget to like and subscribe dread fun out this has been a DreadFun.com production. Thanks for watching.